What's up, everybody? It is February 13th, 2020, and I uh, wanted to share with you uh, some tips and because um, a lot of people always ask, like, like, how do you do it? Like, how do you do it all? How do you post so many videos? How do you like get, put yourself outside your comfort zone? Um, it's definitely not easy. I'm not going to lie. Creating the YouTube videos was actually one of the most resistance I've had out of all the things. You know, first step was creating a blog. And it was just hard just to be vulnerable. And because my story was that I'm not a good writer. Uh, well, doesn't matter. Just got to put it, yourself out there and practice and get better, right? And um, creating a podcast was really, really hard. I paid for a domain. So I paid over $100 for your, um, so actually a couple hundred dollars because I have two different hosting websites. I don't know why I did that. I think I wanted to, to, I just wanted to have excuses, I think, why not to upload videos and, and blogs and, and content um, because I thought like, hey, what do I have to offer the world, right? But it doesn't even matter. I think the point is like if I make myself uncomfortable, you know, it's uh, doing things like asking people hard questions and, and asking for a raise or whatever the case may be, um, it's going to require me being uncomfortable a lot of times in my life. and. I think this constant practice has served me well. I think what I've learned so far from creating YouTube videos is that there's a community for everyone, right? Some people, you know, they might, they might not like my content. They might give me criticism. But at the end of the day, I think as long as you're being vulnerable and you're being authentic and you're just being genuine, uh, it definitely will resonate with people. I've had a, I've been fortunate enough that I have a pretty strong community that supports me, who supports me no matter what. I have this guy named Cayman at work who, um, you know, he flew in from, San, he came from the San Francisco office at LinkedIn, but he always like supports me in my YouTube videos. He's going to offer to help me edit, which I know is huge, especially uh, because nowadays people have short attention span. So if you made it this far, congratulations, you're an anomaly. <laughs> Um, but I really enjoy creating videos because I think it's a way of reflection. It's a way of, and you can't bullshit on YouTube, right? Like I think when you're writing, it's it's hard because people can't read your face. They can't be like, that guy's bullshitting. But when you're on YouTube, they'd be like, that guy's bullshitting. Yeah. <laughs> um, and thank you, Edwin, for helping me. He's, he pointed out that one of my, my nervous tics is that I make like a sound at the end of some of my videos after making a point. So thank you for pointing that out. That's something that I'm, I'm we watching so that I can improve and get better every day. I also want to thank Nick Sang for putting, he put together, he has a podcast called Artographs. You can download it on Spotify. But he shared about how he cold called his way into university, which was so inspiring. Like he hustled and kept calling and never gave up. And just his persistence and his ability to make people laugh and just how genuine he is is such an inspiring story. So I definitely recommend you so check out Nicholas Sang. Sang his uh, Instagram is Nick Sang. So N I C K S A N N G, I believe. Great guy, definitely got to meet him. Really funny dude. I actually interviewed him for my podcast as well. So definitely check out that episode. And yeah, thanks everyone. Appreciate your support. Cheers.